Today is Tuesday, November the 20th, 2018, just a couple days from Thanksgiving celebration here in the United States. And we're talking about uh, remedies for stress, uh, overcoming stress in our lives. And, and there's no doubt we live in such a stressful culture and there's so many negative results of undue stress. And today we're talking about one of the, one of the most important things we can do to overcome stress in our life and it's prayer and I honestly believe that we, we I don't pray enough and I think that I find myself saying prayers throughout the day and I have a prayer time in the morning before I start doing anything but I, I there's just got to be more time that we set aside for prayer listen to this scripture in Philippians 4 6 and 7 it says be anxious for nothing. Wow, there's stress right there, isn't it? Just immediately we're told, be stressed about nothing. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Well, it says, that we're to go to God and and not be anxious about anything but start bringing these requests before the Lord and do it with thanksgiving we're to rest in him as we as we talked about yesterday and I think we try to shoulder things we try to carry things that aren't ours to carry and I, I don't know if it's a, a mothering instinct in, in women or if it's a a man that's so obsessed with his job that he thinks that without him the job can't be completed or the job can't be done the way it should be done. But I, I think we just take on more than our uh, is our responsibility. Not all of us, obviously, but many of us. And it produces such undue stress. And we get so burdened, so obsessed, if you please, with fulfilling certain responsibilities when Jesus says in 1 Peter to us, through the Apostle Peter, cast all your care upon me. Lay our burdens down at his feet. I, I can tell you in a time frame when we had three church plants going in three different states and and we had a huge budget that we were taking care of in our in our own local church and and I remember one Wednesday night I, I had I was I was feeling so stressed and and usually I, I took a half hour or so of private time, shut off the lights in my office and and just waited before the Lord, went over my notes for teaching that night and I remember I, I couldn't go over those notes. I, I didn't want to go up there and teach again and I, I just needed some quality time with the Lord and I remember getting on my knees in the carpet in my office and and began to pray in the spirit and and just cried out to God in the spirit and and 20 minutes or so I had this ongoing utterance coming out of me to the throne room and the spirit of God and and me and the spirit of God himself and this connection going on and I remember when I didn't, wasn't paying attention to the clock or the time or anything. And, and I remember when I got up off my knees, I, I was so relieved. I, I was so unstressed. The stress was removed. And I cannot, I cannot relate every instance of this, but I can tell you time after time in the morning, I, sometimes I wake up and I'm an early riser and, and I'm, before I get out of bed, I'm starting to think about things that have to be done. And, and then the thing I do first is open my Bible and, and uh, read it. And then I begin to pray. And I can tell you how many times that that prayer has unstressed all the activities that were lined up for me that day. <sighs> but I want you to hear this because in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, it says, when we go to God and we, so to speak, unload all these burdens with thanksgiving before his throne, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. It doesn't have to be processed through every detail of my mind. It surpasses my ability to understand it, guards my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Is there anything more powerful, more wonderful than having our mind guarded against all the fiery darts being shot at us? 
when our our mind we we seem incapable of taking every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, when we begin to unload our burdens, cast our cares upon the Lord, peace of God, quiet, calm, serenity, confidence, trust begins to strengthen in us, and we realize God's got everything in control. And we're really soldiers under command, reporting for duty. Praise God. Listen, if you want to overcome stress and you feel tremendously stressed today, I'm going to suggest cancel some appointment and spend that time just pouring your heart out before God. Get intense in prayer and watch God saturate you with his peace. If you can't cancel an appointment, take a little more time on your way into work and turn off all the other music, even Christian music, turn it all off and just begin to praise God and then tell him, Lord, I got this situation. I'm having a hard time dealing with it. Lord, you know my circumstance. My kids are in this position or my husband or my wife is in this position. And I just let the Lord know what it is and watch God do supernaturally for you what you can't do for yourself and then watch us inside your confidence and your strength is built in God he's got everything under control let's pray together now Lord I don't know what burdens those who are viewing this video are facing right now but I knew I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you care about our needs and so we, we come to unload all these burdens. We come to say, Lord, thank you that you care. Thank you that you have things under control. Thank you that you're working all things for our good. Thank you that you're doing things we can't see. And you're working things that we don't even understand. And I praise you that as we unload these burdens, as we cast them, as we throw them at your feet, as we ask you to intervene and intercede on our behalf, Lord Jesus, our high priest, that things will begin to be taken care of that we didn't realize could be taken care of. They weren't ours to carry. It says in your word, stand still and watch the salvation of God. And be still and know that I am God. We claim your word today over our lives for your glory. Amen. Live in God's peace by casting your burdens on the Lord. Have a blessed day.